of the latest happening in the tropics. Hey, Alan. Yeah, Leslie, Mike, we do have a new system to watch has not yet developed. The two named systems out there, Gaston and Fiona, not a problem for us. The three tropical waves, it's the red one that's in the Caribbean, Invest 98L, that we have been watching very closely all week and will continue to do that. A very high probability of development as this continues to the west northwest through the Caribbean Sea. It will eventually make a northward turn toward the Gulf of Mexico early next week, and there could be a landfall somewhere mid to late parts of next week. But en route to the Gulf of Mexico, there is a primed area in the western Caribbean, little wind shear, very warm sea surface temperatures, and this is the area uh, that we could see this system really start to develop and intensify, and then it's that northward turn into the Gulf of Mexico that we have been uh, watching and advertising here all week long. So we got this gap in high pressure in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have a little weak front also in the vicinity, and then another feature, a trough of low pressure. This will serve to draw this to the north and all week we have been uh, really alluding to that eastern half of the Gulf of Mexico as the most likely region for this thing to head. It still looks like that gaining a little bit more confidence today on that. Keep in mind the center hasn't formed yet and it's still about a week away from a possible landfall. So there is still some wiggle room there for Texas. I'd say at this point something to watch very closely but not necessarily worry about and looking back at history, a Texas landfalling hurricane is not all that common. The records go back to the early 1900s and late 1800s, and we've only had three Texas hurricanes make landfall during the month of October. Leslie, Mike.